Yo, what is going on guys? Happy Monday, Horcrux here. Welcome back to the channel. If you're new to the channel, I really appreciate a subscribe and like even before you watch the video or know what the video is about. Thank you much. So, to be honest guys, this set has carried me through so many 1VXs. The fact that it is not nerfed is actually astounding. When you look at like the stat byproduct of this set, it's absurd. So, let's get into it. Okay, welcome back guys. Before we get into the bread and butter of today's video, a huge shout out to my patrons. Thank you guys for funding my Netflix addiction so I can binge watch Squid Games again and again because I keep missing Easter eggs. Okay, so before we actually get into the creme de la creme, so to speak, there are a couple honorable mentions I need to throw out to you guys. Going forward on the channel, I'm just going to be mentioning non-proc sets because to be honest i want this channel i want me myself to be kind of like a role model to be a part of the solution not the problem not to, that that's not to say that proc sets are the problem it's to say that the elitist using the proc sets might be the problem uh, with pvp okay like proc sets are there to help newer players get into the game and help it feel less encumbersome less uh one-sided so Guys, that's why proxies are in the game. That's why they're always going to stay there. Okay, it's for the newer player base. You, myself, who are six, seven, I don't know, 20 years bits at the game, um, we get by just fine with that proxies. But when we use them, it takes a whole to a whole new level. And Zoss is not appealing to us. Okay, Zoss doesn't care about us. The the one percent. Zoss cares about the casual player base and improving their experience. So if you're a PVP god, uh, you're shit out of luck. Hate to tell you, just just accept it now. With that being said, the first honorable mention I want to throw out there, a super slept on set, why this is not, when I look at build videos, you know, I also look at build videos, okay guys, I need inspiration from somewhere sometimes too, and not one single build I have ever come across on any class whatsoever is Desert Rose. Guys, how are you not using this set? It's absurd, okay, let's look at Lich, Lich is always thought of to be the best sustained set in the game okay Lich gives you like a thousand magic recovery for 20 seconds and it does stack a little bit so realistically it's like you know 1300 magic recovery compare that to desert rose guys you're getting a 2000 tick of magic like every four seconds that if you equate that to magic recovery that's a thousand magic recovery okay cool but instead of only for 20 seconds like Lich, it's for the entire duration so this set uh, literally is three times as good as Lich. Now, you can actually get away with this running it just on your back bar. If, that, if that's the other, like, oh, Horcrux, you have to double bar the set, which messes up your slot economy. You know, you lead us out there. Yeah, I get it. But you can back bar the set, and it's still, like, twice as good as Lich. Because you put, you typically, you have all your expensive burst healy and everything on your bust on the back bar, which are insanely expensive anyway. So if you're ever backpedaling, you know, you know, 1vx scenario or root, whatever, on your back bar, it's still going to be better than Lich. Like, it's crazy. You can just run all spell damage on all your jewelry, then that's it. Your sustain is taken care of, okay? I mean, Magsor has a little bit harder time with it just because Magsor just has no innate sustain whatsoever unless you pick, like, a Breton class or whatever. But it's incredible, guys. Like, obviously, this doesn't apply to you stamina, folks. But any like light armor or heavy armor, like mag class, like this is such a good set. The next honorable mention I want to go over is, I swear to God, guys, it's it's just one of the best sets in the game. Period. It always has been. Is burning spell weave. Burning spell weave is so easy to proc. It's applicable on almost every single class. I mean, obviously, stamina. You, you probably won't be running this on stamina class until the hybridization comes out. Um, there are a couple. Builds I want to try, I may even roll into Stamina and Burning Spell Weave is going to be one of the set sets. It's going to be pretty interesting. Never played a, ma uh, a, a Stam class before, but I've uh, been theory crafting for the past few days. But Burning Spell Weave gives you so much spell damage, and it you can proc it so easily. Now, it used to be a chance, but now Burning Spell Weave, you can do, literally do any flame damage whatsoever. I'm not sure if the Templars have any flame damage, but you can use a flame staff to proc this uh, literally 100% of the time. The Necros can proc this with Blast Bones. You know, Force Pulse procs so this. Any light attack with any Inferno procs this. And DK is not to say anything. But this is such a good set. 
and it's good in PvE and PvP. Like, this is probably the most top tier set that's universal in the entire game of ESO. Like, I praise this set so much. If you do not have it, don't worry about farming it because of the smart loot system, which allows you to not have duplicates of items you've received before. It's coming into ESO in the next DLC here in a few weeks, so don't worry about grinding this right now if you don't have it. Wait until the upcoming DLC, and you'll pretty much be guaranteed to get it, okay? All right, so what set am I talking about, guys? If you're familiar with the channel and you know what builds I run, you already know what this set is. It is Iron Blood. Iron Blood is hands down the most broken set for any light armor build in the entire game. Now you stamina boys, yeah, you, you obviously don't want to run this, okay? I wish there was a stamina equivalent for you guys, because this shit is nutty. It is honestly nutty. And the very first thing you guys are going to say, well, that 50% uh, of the movement speed is too much for me to handle, Horcrux. Yeah, it's dog shit. Okay, well, I have a small video and show you exactly how to get around that. So let's cut away to that just for a moment. Okay guys, so in this short clip here, I'm going to show you how to completely avoid this slow mechanic of Iron Blood. So what you want to do is just roll dodge and then at the end of your jump, if you time it correctly, you jump and you actually carry your momentum from your roll dodge. The first clip there is me doing it with the B-Hop mechanic. The second clip is me doing it without it. This is, you know, full sprint by the way. So you notice in the first clip I met to the rock way out yonder and then here I literally went halfway. Okay, welcome back guys. Hopefully that shows you how you can B-hop your way to victory. Even when the Iron Blood procs, you're not really encumbered by the slow or movement pairing effects anyway. Another thing to note about the debuff that's applied to you. If it is the strongest snare, it will override any other snare. It does not stack with other snares in Sierra. Now, PvE is a different story, but in PvP, okay, if there are any other snares, like, it just takes the strongest. So, for example, if you get hit with an Ash Cloud, which is like 70% snare, okay, this overrides the Iron Blood. It applies the heaviest hitting snares. So, in reality, you're always slowed by like 30% anyway, so it's really not that bad. Even if you're not using the roll dodge B hop mechanic, which I just showed you guys, but look at it stat for stat. So let's compare this to probably one of the tankiest sets in the game is Pariah. Okay, when you get down to I don't know like 25% health, you get 10,000 resistances. What does that equate to? That equates to about 20% worth of damage. In order to get that 20% damage mitigation, you have to pretty much be dead. Iron Blood gives you 30% damage mitigation all the time. It procs super reliably, it has a reasonably high uptime, and it gives you a chance to find your bearings, you know, buff, heal, you know, whatever for 5-6 seconds, and then it gives you a small burst window after to kind of go in for a kill. This is my favorite set for 1vx scenarios. Now if you're in group play, you can get away with more offensive sets, kind of pseudo tank, pseudo damage sets. You know, kind of like uh, Desert Rose, for example. It's sustain and da damage and a little bit of tankiness. When I say damage, like, it does everything. But when you run Desert Rose, you can get away with running more uh, damage glyphs and such. So you can run more pseudo-random, uh, pseudo-damage sets like that or pseudo-tank sets. Um, but Iron Blood, hands down, if you are wanting to get better at Cyrodiil and 1vxing, being on your own, small groups, you know, one, two-man groups, Iron Blood is phenomenal for you guys. I use it, I'm a veteran player, and I abuse the crap out of this set on a daily basis. It's it, it needs nerf, to be honest. Once people start figuring out like this set, I'm surprised no one has. Like I understand and I think the reason it hasn't taken off is because most of the classes in Cyrodiil are stamina. I'd probably say 75% well, I will say 70% of any damage class in Cyrodiil is stamina the remaining 30 percent is magic dps and healers uh there's probably like a one percent worth of tanks out there but is it overwhelmingly stamina based okay and there's a reason for that is because the speed meta right now is really tough to deal with or there's, there's nothing to lock down you speedy boys i get that so us match classes are forced to just tank up because quite frankly we cannot keep up with these speedy motherfuckers okay it's annoying shit <laughs> So the only alternative 
is to tank up and bolster your damage as much as possible. So when you do go in for your burst, it actually does something. And this set does that, guys. This gives you all the tankiness you need. The only thing you have to worry about is your damage and just get by on sustain. And that's just a case-by-case -case basis. So go farm this. It's in Felcraft Hold. It's super easy to get. You just do it on normal. If you want to wait till the smart loot system, cool. But you can easily solo this on normal. Get you a bunch of randoms just spam in the chat. Like, hey, I'm looking for this. Can you give it to me? Right? You can recraft everything. It doesn't even matter if they're like level 23, not even CP rank. You just need the set for your your ribbon, your your whatever, your, your card that you filled out that tells you you got the set. So you guys know what I'm talking about. Just so you can recraft it into the traits you want later. So hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. And I will catch you all in the next one. But before you go, don't forget to eviscerate that like and subscribe button. See you later, guys. Peace.